I had not heard of young women having heart attacks before. I had never heard of SCAD. I was babysitting a couple of girls and we were at their pool and all of a sudden I felt this kind of mild discomfort in my chest as if I, it, it felt as if I had swallowed a piece, like a chip, something that was kind of poking my, my throat on the way down. Um, I have a history of anxiety, so I thought perhaps it was anxiety related. Um, didn't really do much about it. I called my husband to let him know I wasn't uh, feeling quite right, but not you know ready to rush to the hospital or anything like that. Um, after about an hour and a half, I really wasn't feeling any better. So my husband came and picked me and the girls I was babysitting, picked us all up. Um, we dropped them off and then we went to the ER. I was in my swimsuit and cover up and um, they did a quick EKG and the nurse shut the curtain and I heard her yell to another nurse, something urgent. And I kind of looked at my husband. I was like, what is going on? Is that about me? The nurse comes back in and said, all right, sweetie, you're having a heart attack. So we're going to call the cardiologist on, on staff and we're going to take you down, um, get you admitted, probably take you down to the cath lab. And it was the most surreal experience. I, I was like, this lady's gotta be kidding. This is me. I'm having a heart attack. I was 28 years old, um, sitting at the pool. And that was sort of the start of my whole SCAD journey. Um, I was actually misdiagnosed with a vasospasm by the cardiologist in Los Angeles. And it wasn't until we moved back to St. Louis, um, about 10 months later that I got the SCAD diagnosis. So I was mismanaged for, um, several months, which was kind of scary. But um, once I got the correct diagnosis and got more information, um, my life has been different and here we are. So I think I was misdiagnosed just because of the way the um, images appeared on my angiogram. They looked like a vasospasm and so the professional um, thought it was something completely different than what it was. Um, so apparently even the visualization of a SCAD can appear um, as something else. So that's pretty interesting, also kind of scary because it can look like one thing and be a completely different thing. But the specialist in St. Louis was able to um, identify that it was actually a SCAD. It's really interesting to me that this cardiologist hadn't even, wasn't even aware of the SCAD diagnosis, um, hopefully and probably because all um, the work that the Mayo Clinic physicians are doing, getting the word out, um, keeping up on research, keeping up on pr uh, article production. It's really important that more and more research is funded. Patients are telling their stories. They're you know telling friends. They're telling other family members that this is something that happens to young women that do not have predisposing factors. I'm thin, I work out, I'm young, I don't have cholesterol issues, I don't have, you know, um, any, any, nothing that would indicate that I was going to have a heart attack. Good thing I wasn't turned away. Um, you know, at least it was identified as a cardiac event and an issue and I got the care that I needed. Um, but SCAD is, it's real, it's out there, it's something that physicians really need to be aware of. When I first experienced my chest pain symptoms, I definitely attributed it to something gastrointestinal, reflux, anxiety, not a heart attack. I never thought it would be something like that. Mine occurred sort of on the precipice of more of an explosion of information and survivors really uh, sharing their story, their information. So. Um, my cardiologist that diagnosed me with SCAD said, I treat a bunch of people here in St. Louis and you should connect with them. So following my SCAD, I had damage to the apex of my heart. Um, my ejection fraction, I think that's what it's called, was about 50. So I think like 10% lower than it should be. Um, since then, my muscle has recovered, I think almost completely. One of the big parts of my treatment was the mental health aspect. I sought care of a psychotherapist and we did a lot to explore the trauma associated with being a healthy young person and having this kind of event occur. One of the scariest parts of this disorder 
is the mental aspect of it. You don't know what is going to cause another SCAD. You don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know if it's going to happen. And so you kind of just have to live with this burden on your shoulder that, you know, is this walk I'm going to take going to cause another heart attack? So I made the decision to have a child after having a SCAD. My cardiologist said to me, if you were my daughter, I would tell you not to get pregnant. And so I had to make the decision. I want a family. I, I want a baby. We're going to get through this nine months of pregnancy and, and fear, but here we are. My, my baby is 10 months old and I'm healthy. So, um, everyone's story is very different.